Hey YouTube, what up? This is Brian Easy, just coming back to you guys today with a review, or well, unboxing and review, of the Logitech MMO Gaming Mouse, guys. So, this is the Japanese version, so you can see it's Logicool here in Japan, they couldn't get the Logitech uh, name, so as it was already taken, but as soon as we get this box, guys, it really is, uh, really, like, sort of... They've, you know, they've put a really lot of time into making this box, and it really looks good. But so, let's first off look at the specs. So, it goes from 200 to 8,200 DPI. That is massive. That's the most DPI I've ever seen on a mouse before. Uh, you know, it's got 30G sensor on it, so it moves, it, apparently it moves pretty well. So, we're going to actually test it later and put it through a few little tests and see how it goes. 1,000 reports a second, guys, so that's really good specs. It means it's a 1 millisecond response time. 130 grams, and the cord is 15 grams. Surprisingly, they're putting a lot of extra specs on this box. Well, let's take the mouse out anyway, guys, and have a look. It also boasts different LED lights. Straight away, we uh, have a look here. We've got the, looks like the drivers that we get with the, no, just a manual, and I guess the warranty. So there's no drivers or anything, just the manual and warranty there. And we open up the box here. And we shall try and get this mouse out. So looks like it opens up from here. Okay, so let's get this mouse out for you guys to have a look at it. So I'm gonna there's the unboxing there guys, so we get it out of the box and straight away that's what it looks like. So it actually looks a little bit smaller than what it looks like online. You know, when I looked at it online it looked really, really big. But this actually looks pretty, like it's a good size by the looks of it already. So anyway guys, let's test this mouse out. Let's put it on the mouse pad and test it out. Okay guys, so here is the mouse here in the flesh, so straight away unboxing it guys, you can see that it's got a really nice long cable, this cable is actually longer than my G400's cable, and it's also braided guys, so it's really strong, the cable looks really sturdy, it doesn't have a noise filter, but I guess if the cable is that thick and that good quality, I guess it doesn't need one. But anyway guys, let's have a look at the mouse itself. So when I did unbox it, it did come with this annoying sticky wrap all over it, but I guess it's kind of a, you know, a feeling to make sure you know, you're getting a new, brand new mouse. So that is something to look out for. If it doesn't have that on it, it means someone's probably already used your mouse. Now, looking at this mouse guys, this is on a Razer Goliath's Control Edition mouse pad. Now, straight away the mouse feels awesome. Like, I, you know, the shape is a lot, it's different. It is a lot different. I mean. But I noticed with this mouse, guys, you can grip it either two ways. I noticed you can still do the classical grip, the claw grip, and it still feels really good. So filling this mouse around, you know, it it is it feels really good, even if you claw grip it. If you use the Logitech recommended grip, which is that grip, it still it feels different. So I'm gonna have to actually get used to that. So I will it will take some time for me to get used to that new grip, but in the meantime I'll probably be doing just this grip and it still feels absolutely fine. So really good mouse there guys, I wouldn't worry too much if you're thinking about worrying about this button, I wouldn't worry too much. It's not like, it's sort of, I think, as, a, as an option, so if you want to use it you can, if you don't, you don't have to. You can still claw grip fine like that. Now let's actually look at the buttons here. So the main reason I got this mouse was because of these buttons. And yes, they do change colour, it looks really cool. So as you can see it's cycling through the colours, and just clicking them straight away, uh, you can see, yeah, they're really, they're really nice to click, so they're really accessible, guys. It's something you can really actually, and they're marked out really well. So they're grooved in, so like they're grooved, sort of inverted, invertedly grooved, which means that you can identify each button really easy. So um, that is something that is something that will be a great feature for me, especially while I'm playing World of Warcraft. So. This mouse, guys, all, overall it, it feels so. Let's look on the build quality. The feel, if I grab it and try and strangle it, it it's just made. It's a really well well designed mouse. Uh, it feels really good. Logitech's grip on it, this grip feels unreal. There's only a little bit of gloss here, which is around the areas, and you don't really touch that anyway. The buttons, the click on the buttons feel a little bit soft for some reason. Uh, these button, the clicks on them feel a little bit soft. Same with the left and the right click. It feels, they do feel a little bit softer, and the G-Shift as well. 
So these buttons here, they feel a little bit softer as compared to my Logitech G400, which I believe has the best left and right click that I've ever felt on a mouse. It just the, the click on the G400 is really good and I still think it's got the best left and right click. So that's the G400 there. And as you can see, probably for a quick size comparison, you can see there that the G400 is actually taller, but this is a little bit wider. So if you've got big hands, it's not going to bother you at all. Both the mouse are going to be really good. You can have one for FPS and one for MMO. And obviously I've got my G3 as well for RTS. And I am a big, real big fan of Logitech mouses, guys. I reckon they, they just make really, especially in Japan, Razer mouses are a lot more expensive than they are in Japan, like compared to Logitech. In, in America, they're probably similar, similar price, so there's not much big of a difference. But here, you know, Logitech are just a lot more better value. So, you know, the build quality on Logitech mouse mices are just unreal. They're always good build quality, and they always come with three-year warranty too, so it's something to remember about this mouse. Now, this mouse here, guys, let's look at the scroll wheel quickly. The scroll wheel feels really good. Wow, like, I, I, it's a different feel to other scroll wheels, and it just feels really, uh, like, sort of, it's a really smooth scroll, but it's also got that real good feedback on it. So, I don't know if you can hear it, but it... It's smooth to change, but you also know every time you're changing it. So, I must admit, it's got a lot of things that I will uh, personally take probably another week to already get used to it, but it feels, everything feels really solid on this mouse. You know, the left click and the right click feel like they're sort of designed to be long hour sort of, they're a bit softer than the G400, the clicks on it, but I guess that's designed for long hours of gaming, so really designed to just, you know, be comfortable think this mouse is and overall gripping it it just feels really good so I do like the weight on it and one point I will mention is that these Teflon coated feet here there's two of them and basically they're really they glide extremely well like this is a control edition mouse pad and this thing's just gliding so compared to the G400 uh, this mouse you know even though it's heavier it just glides really easy like it's a uh, Probably, you know, the Teflon feet are really smooth on this mouse, something to note. So, these two buttons for changing the DPI um, on the fly, if you want to change your DPI. Oh, wait. Yeah. So that's, yeah, there's the DPI just going berserker. Uh, but that, you know, you can change the DPI all the way up to 8200, which gets ridiculous, so... Uh, I'll have to research this a little bit more, but yeah, you've definitely got your DPI changing switches here. And the clicks on them feel pretty solid, so nothing to worry about there. Now, the click on the mouse wheel is a little bit unstable because when you click this mouse wheel, it's sort of... you're scrolling as well while you're clicking it, so probably not one of the buttons that I will rely on because of the fact that it'll scroll as well. The scroll is definitely reliable, though. That The scroll itself, just the click on it's a little bit can see myself clicking that quickly and scrolling up too so have to be careful with that and yeah so overall in a nutshell guys this has got a lot of buttons you know how would I compare it to a Razer Naga I don't know I haven't tried a Razer Naga yet uh, but definitely guys this I can see myself using this in MMO and definitely with an extra you know 12 odd buttons on the side it's gonna help me with my you know and a G shift button too it's gonna help me out a lot so, lastly, I'm just going to check the sensor, guys. So I'll try and, you know, people have been complaining that the sensors sort of, they have this weird bug where they just move up or something. Um, I'm just going to try and spaz it out now, but check it out. And no, uh, absolutely no spazzing. The, the sensor is really good on this. So, you know, I can't spaz this sensor out. So, you know, I'll try max DPI, but... Yeah, I can't spaz this sensor out at all, so, I mean, in games it might be a different thing, but, yeah, the sensor on it is really good too, so, it's actually a laser sensor, guys, important to remember that too, so, it's actually a high quality laser sensor as opposed to an optical sensor, so, I do prefer the laser sensors, but, obviously, on a good mouse pad, it does not really matter, it's just I do prefer to have a laser mouse, just to know that you're always, you know, if there's a little bit of dirt on your mouse pad, as opposed to an optical, it could affect you at a crucial time. 
So just a little, little, you know, point there, but that's why I do love my laser mouse over the optical. Anyway guys, I hope this review has helped you out today. And uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And of course, uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe and keep the brain easy, brain easy going. And also, if you've got any requests, please let me know and I will get that done as soon as possible. Anyway guys, peace out for now. Bye.